our next guest on the uh, pandemic uh -huh. talk show is a Goldstein. Field of Goldstein, one of the uh, is a great <laughs> Chicago photographer, and he runs a an organization called True Chicago, which are doing a lot with relief, and they're doing live streams to uh, to really point out the plight of artists in Chicago. And he's joining us now, David Johnson. Welcome to the pandemic talk show. You got the great, you got the good looking masks. Yeah, I just got this one. It's like it's nothing, you know. You I'm know, after listening to Albie, I felt like <laughs> I felt some conviction. Finally, we're listening, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but the smell of these things makes me feel more depressed about what's happening. <laughs> uh, so, someone like, told me once you could, you could, there's like ways to like freshen up the mess. <laughs> like there's like, you could put toothpaste or something. Yeah, it's called flossing, Justin. Flossing. <laughs> <It's the key laughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, welcome to the program. Uh, and, you know, I want to I include Goldie in this as well, because Goldie actually is uh, a board member with True Chicago, which is awesome. Yeah. So, uh, but first, give us all an up idea of what True Chicago is. Yeah, True Chicago. So, I, I mean, to tell about True Chicago, I, I, I probably have to tell about myself. I've been a photographer in Chicago for about 13 years. It's been the only job that I've ever had since college. Um, I've just worked solely as a creative and the reason why I've been able to do that and the reason why it's been my only job is because there's a lot of people who have taken the time to invest in me as a creative and I realized that um, the way I was fortunate to run into a lot of key people that helped my career grow and blossom forward um, not everybody has that not everybody runs into great mentors not not everybody runs into um, a great group of people that can help cultivate your gift. And so the idea with True Chicago was, man, um, what if we created a space and a platform where that kind of naturally would happen for young people in the city of Chicago? And so um, really, I just called a lot of the creatives that I wanted to be like when I grow up and tried to get them all in a room um, and really just tell two things. One was their, uh, their story. You know, how did you go from being some kid to being an influential voice in a creative field? And then the second thing was a little bit about the creative process um, and just talk about, you know, what's, what's the secret ingredients that you use uh, to go from, I have an idea to bringing it to life. And so yeah. with True Chicago, we say we do three things. And that, the first thing is energize the creative community. The second thing is educate the creative community. And the third thing is expand. We want, uh, as a result of the first two, we want people to be expanded. The creative community right now is in a bit of a lurch. I mean, obviously everybody is when it comes to <laughs> what's happening. But the creative community, a lot of people work in the gig economy and others who, not unlike you, like photographers, others who, who work off of getting gig after gig after gig. Some, some might say have been left behind. You saw that the state of Illinois is actually starting to get 1099 gig economy. People lined up for, uh, for aid coming up here. But do you yeah. see it that way? I mean, th this idea that, that the last people, the creatives, the artists, and the last people thought of in the society. I, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I, honestly, it's frustrating because I know, especially in a corporate and a capitalist space, uh, what creatives do is seen as expendable a lot of times. It's seen as something that, hey, well, we do real business over here and maybe we'll sprinkle some creative on it. And unfortunately, that's the same experience that a lot of creative young people have when they're trying to develop their skill or their ability is, you know, there's a set path if you want to be an accountant, you know, there's a set path if you want to be a doctor, you go to this class, you, you have to take this test, all of that. And it doesn't exist like that in the creative community. And so, I mean, when you see a person who is a creative full time or even part time, chances are they hustled their way there. <laughs> chances <laughs> are they had to, you know, make their own path. And so, Right now, here we are again, we're experiencing that same thing. Um, I, I can tell you personally, for me, I make about 40% of my income from March to about July, August, because that's when it warms up in Chicago. That's when people want to get outside and do stuff. And guess what projects have been, have been either canceled or postponed indefinitely? 
is everything from March until yeah. August. Right, right. It's crazy. It's crazy to think about. So what are you doing with True Chicago to help with artists and, and relief? You're doing the stream and some other things. Tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I mean, like I said, our three things that we do, uh, energize, educate, expand. It's one of those things where, um, you know, when this first happened, our first thought was, oh, let's raise a bunch of money. And then we saw other people were doing that. And we, we, we realized that, man, one of the things that we need to do is make it possible for uh, younger creatives and disenfranchised creatives especially folks that are on the south and west side of Chicago, for them to be able to hear encouraging voices that are going through some of the same things. And originally we started out thinking, oh man, let's get some of the best creatives in Chicago to give tips on how to stay afloat. Well, man, Justin, when we, when we started that, we realized what was more valuable than the tips was folks being vulnerable. I mean, literally, I just got off of a call just now from talking to Tony Johnson, who is uh, a yeah. Yeah, credible photographer and activist, uh, been featured in Vice, National Geographic, all of that. And she was talking about the second week of this was basically an emotional breakdown. And it's crazy because we get more responses from stuff like that when people are just saying, yo, uh, I hit a wall and I'm not making money anymore and I don't know what to do. It's, and, and I'm just resting and just saying, hey, I, I don't know how to do this. A lot of people have been finding more solace in that. Uh, so that's one of the things that we've been doing. The other two things I'll say real quickly are, uh, we've been doing workshops where we'll just do a Zoom workshop for about 50 uh, creatives uh, that jump on in the Zoom workshop. And we'll do that just some practical, um, like photography, painting, you name it. Um, and then the third thing is we've been doing Saturday morning creative brunch. Um, and basically we'll pick a painter, an illustrator of some sort, and we'll pair them with the DJ and we just give them an hour. So that has actually been the coolest thing that we've done. Yeah. Well, check it out. True Chicago on Instagram. And you can also find, where, where can we find the stream? Yeah, at truechicago.co is, is where you can follow us. Um, and we're doing streams Tuesday and Thursday uh, around 2, 2.30. And then Saturday is 11 for the Creatives Brunch. So we would love to have any of you guys out there. Um, and yeah. We'll put that stuff on the side. David Johnson, great photographer in town, True Chicago. Thanks so much, buddy, for being on the Pandemic Talk Show. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, David. I like your, I like your sweatshirt, Scott. Thank you, brother. <laughs>